Hello and welcome to Down the Vent. My name's Joe. <laughs> I'm Josh. And I'm Steve. <laughs> and today we're going over our top 10 games of 2018. Woo! Right, right. right. Not 19. 18. 18. 18. 2018. Now these are not games that we just played in 2018. These are games that have actually released in 2018. Yes, yes. That's how we make the list. <clears throat> right, right. My number 10. Um, all right, so this game was a game that uh, we got at Gen Con um, that we that more than one of us have and that we've not played together, but we've played separately. A uh, game that we, I think we all, once we heard about it, we looked forward to. It was on at least a couple of our mm -hmm. uh, pre-game things. And um, Nyctophobia is really fun. Yep, it's yep. really interesting. <clears throat> it is. It's... Um, uh, it's three to five player. Uh, Catherine Stipple is the designer, so I'm just I happened to pull them up because I, <laughs> I had I had, I took the time to make sure that I had some information on some things. Good job. Um, but the, but here's the thing: great game, really fun and interesting. Give even the, the you know like gives the person who is the murderer or vampire, depending on the version that you got, or mage or you know like that, um, the opportunity to ham it up a little bit if they want to be uh -huh. or not. Yep. Um, uh, our mutual friends uh, Patrick and Nick were the ones who were the. So I haven't actually gotten to even be the murderer yet, mm. but they and they were as entirely different as possible, and they were both great in their own way. Oh yeah, they, both of them thought they were awful, but they were both great in their own way. Right. You know what I mean? Fun, really. You know, like just, just. I really can't wait to get it back to the table. You know what I mean? It's uh, it, and and I still have yet to be able to try with uh, my brother-in-law who's blind, and that which I think that they'll really enjoy it once. Um, him and his friend, who's also blind, get the oh, yeah, opportunity. They're, they're, they're gonna be like, boom. Dumb. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna, be, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's it's gonna be great. So my number ten, Nyctophobia. Nice. My number ten, Nyctophobia. Why is your list down is there? Nyctophobia. Why well, that's why you had to clean. Why up? was your list under your legs? <laughs> hey, don't <laughs> judge me. What? Don't judge me. Okay. Sir. <laughs> Nyctophobia is my number 10 also. Oh, and that's Asmodee Pandasaurus Games. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we're trying to make sure that we let, you know, we make sure. <clears throat> you can pick it up at Target, right? Uh, yeah. One of the, the versions, yeah. Yeah, one okay. of the versions is only at Target currently. That's the one with the vampire and something else. The one with the axe murderer one is the one that's available online, yep. yeah. as it were. Yep. So, everything, like Steve said, Nyctophobia, great game. Uh, we picked it up, Joe picked it up at Gen Con. We played it at Gen Con. Um, it's one of our more viewed videos. It's a wonderful game. Um, it's fun to play. It plays different every time, whether, even if you're the murderer twice or have somebody else play the murderer. Yeah. It's just all around good game. And it's a good, like, I don't know if I'd call it an icebreaker game, but I feel like it could almost be like a, like a intro. Yeah, I've played it with people that have played no games at all. Yeah. And it's sure. Since, since you, oh, yeah. if, if you're the murderer, you can guide them through the game anyways. Yeah. Yep. them. So, I mean, really, they don't need to know any rules no, besides no. what. Right, right, right. Like, like you need to get to the car. That's <laughs> yeah. your goal. The, the only thing, the only quote unquote negative that I've heard anybody talk about the game, I don't remember who it was that was talking about it, but one of the, one of the online groups of people was saying that they didn't care for it because they got a little bit like, it, it, they felt uncomfortable. Oh, shut up and sit down. They, they liked the game, generally speaking, but the having to hold each other's hands to do the thing um, was a, not necessarily like... A, and the one guy said, he's like, look, I understand that it's the societal norms that are causing me to feel this way, but after about the third round, Quinn's hands started to get uh, clammy, and then that made me uncomfortable every time <laughs> he touched me, you know, like so, that. And So every time I've, I've played this, I've not held someone's hand. Right, right. So what I do is I have them hold their hand out and put a finger down, and I guide their wrist like that. Right, sure. And I've never actually gone like, let me help you, John. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, but, but some so people like, would, may, would potentially yeah. be uncomfortable even with that. Yeah, you know? so I just... Slightly, and I play this like strangers at work too. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know, and they were okay with it. I did warn yeah. them before, and I will be slightly grabbing their wrist and guiding. I'm gonna slightly hand. grab you during this game. <laughs> like yeah. this. <laughs> right. No, no, right. it's a it's a good game. Um, it's my. But I can see down. some people being uncomfortable with that. So. No. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, literally, that's the only negative I've ever heard about it. Yeah, I can see my reflection of my glasses. What's a negative? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I can see like my own eyeballs. <laughs> It's, it's a negative, negative for us. <laughs> every time we have to see it. Especially at that last thing. Yes, Anyways. Yes. Ahead, oh, Joe. wow. Okay. So my number 10 is This War of Mine. Oh. Wow. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. 
it's it's very I didn't realize story. that came out this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it, was, it must have been like January. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah, very you, early. You kickstarted. I did kickstart it. Yeah, because yeah. 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 that's based. And off I never, I never get to try it. So. Yeah, yep. it's very uh, story driven. Very depressing yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, hard but, decisions to make. Yeah, a lot of hard decisions to make. Are you gonna, you know, let the grandma and grandpa live in peace, or are you going to steal from them and, you know, pretty much let spell their starve. spell their doom, right? Yeah. So, um, really. Just really good game all around. I really enjoy it, and um, I want to play it more. And if I probably played it more, it'd probably be higher on this list. But all I don't right. have to play it like once or twice. Nice. So, yeah, I never got to try it. I, w- I was I was hoping that you would get it. We get the opportunity, but it just you know, like, yeah. It is what it is. It's a long game too, though. So, oh yeah, you know I, I do hate those. I know you do, Steve. <laughs> on to our, oh yeah, what's my number ten? This war of mine. Mm. Yes. On to our number nines. So number nines. <clears throat> Uh, so, this is uh, the first expansion on my list. I have a couple of them, um, because several of the expansions were real good. Uh, this is a game that I actually picked up when I got the expansion. I got it at Gen Con. The expansion, I'm pretty sure, came out at Gen Con. Or maybe it was just after Gen Con. It's right around that time, though. Um, and it's a great, like, party game, kind of, uh, or I guess not exactly party game, but but uh, Downforce and Danger oh, Circuit, right? Okay. Um, really enjoy the new map sides. The one's got the like the curly cue so that you're kind of running into yourself. The other side's got like broken tracks. So like there's spaces where if you're passing on that and you get out there, like you can't get all the way around them, causes you issues in other rounds. Hmm. And then aside from that, it adds a few more cards and a few more things. And Downforce is really fun <laughs> the first couple yeah, times I've yeah. played it. Yeah. And, and... This is as much for the game as it is for the expansion, but the expansion does definitely add another layer to it. And um, the, the the three or four times I've gotten to get it out, I mean, three or four times isn't too bad for a game, and we, we don't yeah. often play, you know, <clears throat> I mean, there's some, but but it, it's fun all the way through. It really gives you great decisions, you know what I mean? And I don't think I've actually won any of the times. In fact, one of the times I know I came in with negative, like, $1 million hey, oh, or whatever. Oh, man. Uh, because life went really bad at the end, and, like, I didn't yeah. place anywhere at all. Did the expansion come with new, like, power-ups? Or yeah, like, there's a couple new power-ups and, uh, uh, like, just a few more power-ups, but then, okay. um, and oh, then... Power-ups are Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, well, they're driver abilities. Yeah, not, yeah. A, not a lot of them. I would say, like, maybe six or eight or whatever, yeah, you know, like that. But, but yeah, just a little bit more. But the tracks really help a lot. Oh, I'm sure. Because it's... Because they're very, very different, and so... It just provides you, like, that gives you four tracks, you know nice. what I mean? That's pretty nice, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead Down and say here, it might be unpopular. Forget Formula D, throw it away. <laughs> I, I think they're very different games. I think they're I think they're kind of very different games, to be honest. I, yeah. do, do, you know, Formula D, the other thing, too, is, is that unless you've played it out that I don't know of, um, I've never played Formula D with the actual, like, where you do all of yeah. the... Where, no, where you get to do all of the different oh, yeah, we've never things, that way, and yeah. that might change some things. It could. Right? But the exciting part of, 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 of Downforce, the end of the game, is from everybody's perspective, is always a no-go. The other thing is, I guess, uh, the other way to play the other thing about Formula D that I haven't tried is, is you, don't, you don't really get it, take the time to count up your spaces beforehand. You eyeball oh, it and yeah, then that's go. Better, yeah. Right, and that's what I guess that's what Vassal and them do, which would add a layer to it, a, yeah, a positive yeah. layer. Yeah. Because people then are dying all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. They miscalculating whatever else. But that's right. Uh, but my number nine, Downforce, uh, Danger Circuit. My number nine is. Oh, look at that example. Key wow. Oh, nice. Key four. Nice. Really? Nice. Yes. Uh, by Fantasy Flight Games. Uh, I am not a... I should lie. I should lie. I love collecting things. <laughs> I got sucked into this. I'm yeah. not into card collecting games. What, what word were you going to say there? I, I don't, don't think that any of that... Because you're <coughs> that. I mean... Uh, aren't I'm, you the one with most of Smash Up? Uh, no, that's Joe. Oh, Joe. Okay, I was going to say. I, knew uh, there was I am a completionist. So, like, when I got into the Star Wars card collecting game, like, I wanted... Everything. Yeah, you did buy this thing. I bought. Set. I bought like the complete set. And you did the dice one too. Right? Yeah, that's yeah, funny. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. I'm. I was really excited when Keyforge came out that it's kind of. If you buy them, it's its own deck. You can't mix them with other decks. It's that is your deck. You yep. play it. Um, wonderful game. Um, I, I don't even. I, I if you like magic, you're gonna like this. Is what I feel. I mean, it's a totally different game, but it's yeah. in that same realm. Obviously, made from. The same guy that made Magic 
Uh, yeah, made from him. Yeah, made they from did, him. They used some of his toenail <coughs> clippings, and that's what they sacrificed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what they had to do to get yes, to, to, to make it work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's a really good game. Um, it is just a, a two-player game. They haven't came out with like a way to do four players. No, yet. but I don't, I don't think they will. I don't, I don't think they need to, though. It's a good uh, one. But it's a really good game. Um, you're collecting... Um, what are, what are they called? Links or no links? No, you're, amber, making, you're collecting amber to make amber, keys. Yes, yeah, amber is what it's called. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm like, the little links that lock you up. No, that's what that's sucks the in the chains. game. That's yeah. the chains. That's the chains are what yeah. screw with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've only played it a few times. We played it at uh, Gramcon and really liked it there. And then Joe picked up a pack or picked up the main base set and a couple extras and I picked yep. up mine. Um, but Keyforge, I think it uh, did really well this year. Um, and I really enjoyed it. My oh, number nine yeah, yeah, yeah. was a hot release of Gen Con this year. Ooh. One of the hot releases. I'm going to guess. Okay. Can I guess? Go ahead. It is uh, where you got the underwear. No. Oh, darn. That no. was not a hot release of Gen no, Con. No, no, <laughs> Exploding no. Kittens 2 was hot, not a hot, hot release. release. It was uh, just an expansion. Oh, darn. Uh, okay. um, so it's a full on game? From, yep, full on game from Ravensburger slash Play oh, or Wonder Forge. Oh, Villainous. Villainous. Oh, okay, yeah. I really yeah, enjoy that game. Yeah, I played yeah. it a lot. I actually demoed it every day at Gen Con for a few hours. I'm looking forward yeah. to an expansion to that. Oh, I cannot wait for the first expansion to come out yeah, and see which uh, villains they choose to put in. So, um, great family style action selection game where everyone is playing like a different game, but you can mess yeah. with each other through like the fate cards and stuff uh-huh. like that. Wonderful. A lot of fun. Yep. Yeah. Awesome theme, great artwork. Probably, good, probably like my fourteen or fifteen. Yeah, yeah. And it was, it's yeah. not expensive either. It's like thirty no, no. bucks. No, a good game. Good game. Yeah. Yeah. I, think I, I, I think I would be. I think that first expansion when that comes out, that'd be the point where I would be a tipping point where I'd be oh. interested in getting it. I think yeah. until that point, not because it's not good, just because I have so many other options already. Yeah. But then that would add that, like, now it's, there's enough where I can make it. It's a great game where if you right. have family that are kind of interested in board games, but aren't yeah. really, to just yeah. pull It is out. not a easy game, though. There's a lot going on in all the cards, so... Yeah, and a lot of people it, came up thinking it was a kid's game. Yeah. It's not a kid's game. No, I mean, you could play it with relatively young kids, like, you know, but the thing is, is yeah, because it's so asynchronous, games. that's yeah. the problem, is because everybody does, and like, everyone's way to go is, every, right, well, right. it's hard to explain the game to... That's a, that's a game where you don't play, but you coach everybody else, yep. right, you know, like that first yeah. time through, you know, but it's still fairly straightforward, yep. you know? So my number nine, Villainous. Um, so number eight, number eight, all right, yes. so <laughs> number eight is a game that uh, is making it on the list, and I've only played it once. Um, but it's one of those games that I've been hungry to play again, nice. and just have not gotten a chance to play it. Like, like this game is is fifty percent what I like better, and fifty percent like the higher the thing is on the list, the more I've wanted to play it. You yeah. know, kind of mm-hmm. a thing. And um, primarily two player, though apparently it's just as good as four player, which I didn't expect. Which Ooh, would be I know a game. War Chest. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Super good compo- opponents. I really enjoyed the first time I played it. I'm almost certain like that. Like my one buddy that I play two player games with primarily, I- I've just not been able to get it to the tail. Like I've just yeah. I don't like to be pushy about it, you know. So it's like, what do you feel like playing, you know? And then goes back and forth, and then he like looks at the lot, and then goes, well, let's play this other thing, you know. Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay, fine, <laughs> you know. But man, I I I and for a while I avoided the four player because I hadn't heard anything about it. And then Vassal said that four player is almost as good as two player, oh, nice. which is like, oh. Well, in that case, I need to just get it out then. So, yeah. um, love the components. Love. I think it's clever. The the poker chip, th- the bag drawing, plus the card powers. It's kind of like Onitama meets the Duke or something like that. Okay. You know what yep, I mean? Yep. Or actually, it's more like the Duke meets Orleans. You know what I mean? Because you're drawing yeah, out yeah, of the yeah, bag, like the bag but then but the- then the and you get to use those. It's it's super clever. Uh, you like, haven't played it yet, Joe? Because he no, yeah, either, brought it, but you know, yes, I, brought I, it I haven't brought it. Yeah. Over. yeah, have you you've gotten to play it? No, no, no. But I've watched oh, some videos so and stuff on it. Yeah. So 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 when you draw the cards out so quickly, when you pull the things out of the bag, that's what you have that you can possibly activate. But mm-hmm. what happens is is depending on what you do with them changes what they are. So like if you do one maneuver, you can place them out onto the board. Yeah. If you put them down face up, you can move yeah. them around, yeah. you know, you can move with that specific piece. If you do them face down, though, you can take one of your reserves that's not in a bag and not on the board 
and put it into your bag. So, like, how you use them, and you have limited mounts, and then you draw like you would in, like, any, like, in Dice Masters or any of those type of things where you... Or you could add to them to make them stronger, too. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> or, right, or the other thing is, is if it's stacked one high, it's one, right? And then it, they just compare, like, power and whatever else. But if it's too high, it's double that. Mm. But the, the trickiest part is, is that when, when one is killed, it goes off and it never comes back. It never comes back on the board. So if they're stacked too high, you kill one. Like if I, if I win and I kill one, one goes away, but the other one's still there. But that one's gone, gone. It's never coming back. And if you only have four of them, now you might be down to only like one one uh, uh, poker chip left to move or attack with your guy because you have to have the same ones. So it's this balance. It's it's really slick. <laughs> really, really good. Uh, one play, super good. Super, super good. Eight, War Chest. It's, uh, that's AEG. Yep. Um, Trevor Benjamin, uh, David Thompson. Design. Good solid poker chips, too. Super good quality chips. Good for biting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, Josh. Fish and chips. For yeah. Fish and chips. <laughs> yeah. Fish and chips. <laughs> yeah, bam. Uh, my number eight is a Seamon game. It is Gizmos. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yes, okay. yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really enjoyed this. I like those family-style... Yeah, I'd Wait, like to try easy, this one. But this one can be a brain burner, too, because you have a lot of cards that can activate other cards. The engine gets you, intense real the quick. The engine gets real intense, because it can be like, okay, when, when I draw, I draw an extra, and if I draw a blue, I draw an extra, and then I draw a green, I draw, this goes off, and then extra. For those that aren't sure, this is one of the marble games. It's not Potion yes, Explosion, but it's, got, but it's got a similar drop-down yep, marble yep, thing. Yep, so yeah, it was, it yeah, it has a nice... Components, the, the marbles are real nice. Um, Glad they got those right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best part of the game. Uh, I've played it a couple times now. Um, played it at Gen Con. I think I've played it another time. But really, really liked it. Um, there were... Wasn't there, like, a card that, like, really powered somebody up at the end? Or, mm. like, if you bought the higher-end cards and were, like, just... It has, yeah, there's not like a catch up. The rich get richer. Right. Yeah, the yeah. rich get richer. But, I mean, but, I mean, just don't let them get there. Yeah. Because there's a way of like, <laughs> Yeah, you, I guess that, way would, that like, would be one of those things where you kind of got to know that. So, probably first game, yeah. the guy who knows it at all is going to trounce everybody yeah. else. Oh, yeah. But, second game, that could be totally different. Because you could like reserve get cards, I want to yeah. say. Like, you could re- so, if you know somebody's like getting richer, you could reserve something and, and hold it away from them. Yep. Um, but, really fun game. Uh, really colorful, really pretty. I mean, it's somewhat easy to teach because it's. I mean, you, there's really only like five actions, but you got to remember those five actions might have ten different things that activate in that in those five actions. Yep. Um, but really, really good game. Really liked it. Um, I don't know who did it by. Simon. Well, Simon, but yeah. I don't made it. Oh, I have no. Oh, idea oh, that game, one. So. I don't, I don't know. I don't it's fine. about it. But that is my number. What are we on? Eight. Yep. Eight. eight. Yep. Eight. Okay. My number eight. Was well, from Restoration Games. It was their first Kickstarter, <laughs> and uh, it was a remake of one of my favorite older games that I've ever found at a thrift shop. Until their next one comes out. <laughs> Until their next one comes out, yeah. And yeah. it is Fireball Island: The Curse of Volcar. Yeah. Um, they completely threw the game out the way it was. Added in action cards mm. um, for movement, so you're not rolling dice to see how far you move now, and lots more. Uh, volcano or marble, Volcar. marble actually, yeah. yeah, Volcar or like. And you've only got the base game, which supposedly some of the expansions really add another Even layer more. of fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, I only have the base game, but man, it is it is a lot of fun. It's pretty um, looking too. Yeah, it, it is. Did a really good job. A lot of people complain that components are junk, but I'm not saying that. It, it. it looks good. The box feels a little weak, but it's just like a weird fold style. It's the, it's the, it's but because it it's a throwback well. to the. The yeah. way they used to be. They were talking about it. Uh, the Brothers Murph, uh, Nick Murphy did a unboxing video about it, right? Mm-hmm. That he put up. And it was actually just like a single stream. But he ended up unboxing it and showing off a bunch of pieces because they had, um, at PAX Unplugged, they demoed that. The two the Brothers Murph did yeah, for, the, nice. for the whole thing. They said they each got to demo it individually like 25 times. And he <laughs> said the coolest part about that was is that it's the type of game where 
watching the game is almost as fun as playing, watching yeah, other people play, it, yeah, because it's just so exciting and stuff is happening. And all yeah, because in this stuff. one, you're not just dropping marbles down Volcar's head, you actually get to flick marbles and stuff across right, the map and try right. to hit people. And, and the movement turns the head a little the, bit, and the, and and the and movement and isn't like you roll a die and get a yeah. three, it's like you draw a card, and it's like I move 12, awesome, right? Yeah, yeah. it's a much farther movement. I think the, the shortest movement I saw was four, yeah. Um, and the, the biggest was twelve. So you, yeah, you're you're flying across the board. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's a lot of fun. They and did a good job. And their uh, palm it. trees to to make the marbles move different ways. They, yep. they did really, they did really good on it. Yeah. So my number eight was Fireball Island. Yeah. All right. Thanks. So so. Okay, number seven. So number seven. Um, number seven is um, <laughs> it's a game that I'm pretty sure we've all played. And this game is good as it is. The alternate version of the game is the one I even like more. <laughs> uh, but it's amazing um, by Emerson Matsuchi and Plan B Games, uh, and that would be Century Eastern Wonders. Um, I really like Eastern Wonders. Anyways, I I I like. I guess I like it probably on par with Spice Road. Spice Road is. Spice Road is a little bit more straightforward, but I like the slight added crunchiness of what you get in Eastern Wonders on its own. Yep. And the combine, the Desert to the Sea thing, is great. Yep. It's really good. I I like I'm I would say <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> that's, okay. That's, okay. that's okay. Backdraft? No? 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 Okay. All right. Sorry. Ca caught a whiff of Josh. I yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, crotch papers. Anyways. <laughs> Um, so the thing about it is, is, uh, it's great game. Um, it's, it shows, the, it, it really holds up to the formula that he essentially gets away with all the time, which is, let me take something that has been done a hundred times. Let me boil it down as much as I can. And then just the flavor sauce. That's the, the, the most simple part. And then I put that into a game and make it, it's super fun. Yep. Nice, nice components. Um, Jerry got the map so that yep. you know the, the rollout map and that's and really the, nice. The maps make a difference. Yeah, the maps. <laughs> that that map particular does because it but helps like. keep the you know the thing together and all that. But I really enjoy it. I love that the pickup and delivery that you kind of got with it. I love yeah. the putting the little. I've seen people win where they're put get all of the little huts out. Yep, yep. And I've seen you know like like that's a big part of the win. I've seen people only do like two thirds of the huts. But then just killed on having yeah. really good other bonus stuff and everything. Yeah. And I really like that part of it. And then the combined game where you have the cards too adds even another layer to that. It's I really good. You got, you, you really, if, you, if you like it at all, the combined have, game is real good. They, they've talked about doing a Golem version. If they do a Golem version, I'm Well, obviously. But, I, but, but otherwise, uh, you know. What? No, nothing. No, no. You just, you're just not, you just don't care for it as much, do you? It, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was on my no, runner-up like list. Oh, okay. It was yeah. on my runner-up Well, I, I, I figured you did because you yeah. so you were kind of talking about. It, but I wasn't sure if you guys, if you guys like, if you really, really liked it. No, 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 no. The, the reaction I, I realized now what it was, but well, I thought you were right, right, right. Him saying the golem version after the game right. in general. Right, right, right. You're not gonna get it because you're not VIG this year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I bought my tickets yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forums lately blasting them. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh that'll, well, me, that'll I'm, get, me, get you me, off. Me, me and Mike Boozer has been having some conversations. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, look at that. He's dropping names. <laughs> oh. Mike, why don't you just call Mike B like you do in your letters? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Dear Mike B. Yeah. 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 This is BS. <laughs> this is Josh uh, B. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no. Uh, 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 <laughs> Sen Century Eastern Wonders. Uh, Plan B games. There were some Mitsuchi. Yeah, That's nice. My number seven, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, number yeah, seven. seven yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, my number seven is a game that I kickstarted, and it came this year, so it was released in 2018. It is a... That's how that works. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> back to, way back in the... No. Um, it is Rise to Nobility. It is a oh. dice worker placement game. You oh, played yeah. it with me. Okay. Um, with Travis and them. I love dicer dice worker placement games, uh, kind of like uh, Kingsburg, that kind of style game. Mm. Uh, I liked it better than Kingsburg. I played Kingsburg after I played uh, Rise of Nobility, and I think I liked Rise of Nobility. More. I'll get I'll get Alien Frontiers this summer, so yeah. I'm gonna get that, and I have, uh, and I'll get the expansion packs, and there's a bunch of the expansion packs, and a bunch of nice. the uh, other stuff. So just to they came out with the expansion for it. I want to pick <clears> it up, but it's I'll probably pick it up at a con. 
I'm, I'll just wait. I'm picking up at a con. I'm not going to order it because it probably won't make it to the table anytime soon because uh, we. Yeah, because you just never. Right, right, right. Because you just don't ever bring it. Let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, you're starting, to become, <laughs> you're starting to become mad. Oh, so do I. And, 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 and so do I. Oh, dude. Ow. Dude, dude Joe, Joe has been way more accepting recently of other people's games. I mean, he's not True. like he used to be, yeah. where it was like, it's my stuff or, in the, or the highway. So We're playing Scythe again. Yeah, we're playing Scythe until play somebody Scythe. likes it. We're playing yeah, Blood yeah, Rage yeah. for the 19th time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like Blood I don't have, yeah, exactly. You know, no, no, like but uh, Rise of Nobility, wonderful game. Uh, if you like dice placement games, it's up there in the dice placement game for me. Um... There's that says a lot coming from you. Was it, how, how much, you how much heavier them. was it than like Kingsburg? I would say heavier because there's more ways to win in this game, mm-hmm. and you can um, um, lock off areas of the board. Mm-hmm. Um, and it doesn't like like in uh, Kingsburg. It's like uh, if you roll high, you do better. If you roll roll low, you kind of suck. In this one, there's spots just for low rolls. Like uh, right, if right, you right. roll there's low roll, yeah. it's not a bad thing. Like maybe you want a low roll because. That's something that really helps you. Um, did, did you play Kingsport when I brought that over Kingsport I Festival? No, no. The, it's the Cthulhu kind of version of... of I know you did because yeah, it was yeah. here. But it's, it's essentially um, cthulhu version of uh, Kingsburg, oh, nice. right? And that one, like pretty much any roll that you get is going to get you something. And you yeah. can split the dice how you want, do whatever mm-hmm. else. Yes, I did play yeah, that with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, was it his house? Yeah. Okay, I, I knew it. I just knew I'd play Yeah, that was really good, and that's why I was yeah. excited to play Kingsburg. And I really like Kingsburg. Because it's that same yeah, 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 style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's not like, oh, you rolled 17, it locks that area off. And 17 is like really, really good. You get four goods, whereas 12 only gets you three goods. Right. Like it's like, oh, you rolled two. Guess what? Two's good here. You just have to right. place it there because right. you have those two dice. Yep. Um, and there were some other aspects, like you could build buildings in it and stuff that like gave you bonuses. And so whatnot. it sounds like it's a lot like it, but just like like a, like a, a, like, a flavor, yeah, like a, like yeah, a different like flavor. Like a different kind of flavor. Of, yeah. There's like some buildings you can build them to your, like, your Interesting. tableau. Interesting. Um, and there was like this market you could buy off of, if I remember it's been a minute since yeah, we've I played it. Yeah, I remembering. I know it was it was good. I know I didn't get to play it. So yeah, I think it was me, Joe, Travis, and Jay. I think that I played it. Know. It might have been in your house. I, I think it was at my yeah. house. Um, but that is my number seven, Rise of Nobility. Nice, nice. My number seven. I have no idea what's playing. <laughs> I think it's a Kickstarter game. You don't know. It's not mine. I don't own it. What? Yeah, I know, right? Well, uh, Steve owns it. Yep, I was like, no. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's called Maximum Apocalypse. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, this would have been my probably 13, I would say. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I liked it a little bit more than Villains. I really, really yeah, enjoyed that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Co-op. I want to play, I wanna play the kaiju one so bad. Yeah. I want to play, yeah, yeah. It just... Scrounge for gas and stuff. Yeah. Just, it's man, it's a not, lot of fun. I've yeah. not got to play this yet. Yeah, you played it with us. Did I? Sure. Yeah, yeah. The one where you put out the it was square, like all cards square that tiles. were traveling or square tiles that were traveling between. And you and you had to get to a, you had to get out to a van and then get to a thing. The, you, you remember you, you know Z- Zombie Fifteen? You know yeah. that's got like the yeah. tiles and you run yeah. around. Think smaller tiles. And because it's all like little, because it all comes in a little you long had box. The dog, I think, or someone had a dog. It, it, yeah, and there was well, like, wait, okay, yeah, 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 it's, it's a fun one, it's not exactly a deck builder, I guess, because, but it, it, there was something about cards, and I don't know, it's been a while, mm-hmm. that was the one time I played it, and, and again, that would probably be my number 13, I really liked it, mm-hmm. I really it liked a lot it, of fun I, 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 I tend to enjoy co-op games, yeah. too, so, yeah, but yeah, but that, and that one was, that one's just a little tiny company, you know, stuff, you know, like that, it's, it, you know they're 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 their own thing. They they that was real good. Uh, and I got a couple. It was a Kickstarter, and I got a couple of the expansions. Like so, I think I've got four or five different things. But I didn't I didn't get everything. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So my number seven, Maximum Apocalypse. Nice. Number six. Number six. Number six. Number, number six. six. All right. Number six. <laughs> um, my number six is another expansion. Um, it's a game that we've all played. It's a game that we all like, and I'm pretty sure that you guys would really enjoy the expansion once we get the opportunity to play it. Um, Revenant. It, and, uh, <laughs> we would it's like by that. Keith Mate- uh, Mateka and Thunderworks Games, which I think is his own studio, and it's role player. 
Monsters okay. and Minions. I haven't played it. Uh, nope, you haven't gotten a chance. I played um, this in the Hotel of Origins yep. 2017. So yep. sad that yep. I want to so bad. Uh, it's a good one. And, it and it's fun. a good game. Um, dice rolling. I know, that's why I want to play it. It's, 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 the game's good anyways, obviously. We, we all enjoyed it when we played it. Um, and I've, I've enjoyed it the, every time I've played it. But then it adds some really cool features. Aside, like, okay, what everybody knows about is the fact that, or people tend to know about it, the expansion is, is you get to go and fight monsters. And at the end of it, once you've created your character, once everybody's done their last round, then you have a boss monster that you get to go and interact with. And depending on how much damage you do based on several things you get victory points. So the more damage you go up to like 25 or 30 damage, you know, gives you like that could give you eight victory points or whatever else. Mm -hmm. That part's really cool. I really like that part. But what I think is actually the really, one of the cooler parts that people don't talk about so much is they also add in these clear dice that run three to eight. They don't count for any of the colors. You know how the colors could be? Mm -hmm. yeah. But they run three to eight. So they can obviously boost your yeah, the power of whatever crazy. your thing is yeah. and it can make you much more powerful in that type of you know that type of thing. And then the last thing that they do that's also very interesting is is one of the cards that are added to the market, there's a whole new card type mm -hmm. and there's scrolls. And essentially a scroll happens immediately and has some effect, right? And they're pretty interesting as well. Mm -hmm. But if you want to go and fight the little sub monsters, which by fighting the sub monsters you get several bonus things Plus, you get the ability to find out some bonus cards that give you bonus attack power against the final guy by doing it. Um, if you if you want to go and fight them, you can't buy that round. Instead of the buy, you do that. So it kind of adds a slayer. I like that. I don't love that part of it. Like I, I think it's you know like that part's a little bit. But I love the end boss fight. I love the clear dice, and I love the fact that it adds probably another. 15 or 20 percent to all of the little card decks you know oh oh and it adds another another two-sided character type for every single one of the character oh, for nice. every single color mm -hmm. so now each color you get two cards that are double-sided to pick which one you want out of the four nice. and um it's just really it's really good solid game really solid expansion you know mm -hmm. really really solid expansion cool. uh yeah yeah we definitely had to try it you yeah. know sweet Yep. Role player. Expansion. Yeah. Monsters and Minions. There you go. Yep. Gotcha. My number six is another Seamon game. Whoa. Two. Mm. I right. can think of one that could be, know. but... Did I have a Seamon earlier? Yeah, 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 you yeah, did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. Gizmos, yeah. <coughs> it is. Oh. I, I, I think oh, I, I know, know what it could okay. be. What do you think, sir? I'm thinking it has a Japanese theme. It does. It is yeah. Rising Sun. Mm. Yes, mm. yes. Mm. The area control. I'm going to... Destroy all your people and leave turtle towers everywhere. <laughs> mm, turtle towers. <laughs> yes, turtle mm. towers. Really liked Rising Sun. I liked. Uh, I will. I liked it better with an even number because I feel like if you play an odd number, you can get screwed out of the max. There's got to be a way to do like to to pull it up because five is the max, right? Yeah. Like you no, know, you can go more than five. I'm pretty sure if you once you oh, have maybe it is six. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they, it's six or seven. Expansion. I think it's. I think it's six or seven because I think you can have. Because uh, you know how they put the flags down the one mm -hmm. side? I, I only know this by speculation because this is one of the games that I've never gotten to play. Oh, I own man. all of it. Man. I've never gotten my own copy, and you guys have always played when I wasn't here. Oh. So We'll have to play it again. It's a good game. <clears throat> it is a good game. Yeah. We've played it a few times. I've heard. I think we've played it Almost three, for sure it would have been on this four. list. Yeah. Um, we have not played it five yet. And I think we've played with part of expansion, but not yep. all expansions. Yeah. Not yeah. Like the I want to try one of the expansions. We have not tried any <coughs> of the expansion clans. Gotcha. Yeah. Which seemed like they'd be really cool. Uh, the min the miniatures are beautiful. I was going to say the minions are beautiful, but yes. Uh, the, the miniatures are beautiful. Of course. Uh, yeah. All the big specialty. It is the Kickstarter yeah, 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 yeah. Well. yeah full, so you got the full it's, thing. It's, like it's got like, yeah. Extra um, you didn't get the bigger board, though, the mat. Board. I did not get the mat. Yeah, right. didn't have a bigger board, but yeah. yeah. So I didn't get that. And, and and that's like literally the only regret I have is I didn't get that thing either. But I think I've got everything but that. It's yeah. still really it's a pretty game. No, it's good presence. It's a, a presence. Uh, yeah. Um. It, it's uh, it's, yes. Yeah, so it's fun to play. Eric Lang, Excuse you me. know, yes, so Eric that's good. Lang, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, um, the teaming up, the, the the way of you play the like. Everybody gets that action that's really neat, but you get like the bonus action. Yep. Um, just really, really, really like it. 
Yeah, yeah it's a great um, game. Yes. So that's my number six is Rising Sun. Okay. I'm sure that'll end up somewhere on somebody else's list. Maybe. <laughs> my number six was a game I kickstarted like three years ago. <laughs> oh jeez. And it just arrived recently. Um, co-op. Uh, Gothic horror, well not gothic horror, Cthulhu horror, yeah, yeah. but in, in a deep sea layer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I knew where you were going. So, yeah. Gothic yeah. Horror. Yep, it yep. is deep madness. Deep madness. Uh, Another game I haven't gotten to try. A lot of fun. Really hard oh my God. game. Um, but I, I think that's going to be one of the ones I focus on for my single player uh, yeah, series I'm going to do. Because there's an entire campaign you're supposed to play through, so there's lots and lots and lots. And I have every expansion for it. I mean, can you see it on screen? Yeah, literally. This is all deep madness up here. Yeah, that's crazy. So there's lots for it. I have lots to play, so I need to start playing it. Yeah, um, it was good the one time we played it. It was hard. It's kind of comparable. It's kind of comparable to like Zombicide with more going on though, and yeah, just wrong. Much more difficult. <laughs> yeah. For Zombicide, you can just pick up a. Uh, a you can sit there and search an objective worry, token, yeah. or you can search. It's no big deal. Or you can just pick up objective tokens. This one, you have to actually make checks to pick up those tokens. And stuff like that, so it adds another layer of difficulty. And then the monsters are just brutal. And if you ever run on a monster, you you die. Yeah, so that's like, so like if you, I considered backing it when it came out with its second thing because I saw it at Gen Con last year and it looked really good. Or you know, this summer, actually, I saw it because they were talking about how they were relaunching stuff, and yeah. I've really at, like it looked really good. But I I. Uh, but between Gen Con and that, I found out that you had, were getting it, you know, like that. And so then I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe I get to try it and see what's up with it like that. So, I mean, I'm sure I'd like it, but whatever. It has really good uh, miniatures also. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, yep. Yeah, the, the miniatures were what was like, oh, this is super cool. You know, I love the first stuff. big games. It is yeah, their first big game. Yeah. Yeah. I was surprised so at how... They were, they were how shocked. Well. It was going to come out for normal retail. Then it's not coming out for normal retail. My, if I remember the conversation, because we ended up talking with one of the people, it's all, like it's only going to be Kickstarter now, I guess. Yeah, and there's okay. a couple other things like that, like for the thing. I mean, obviously you have tons of expansions and you have a bunch of stuff. So even if you waited till like the 2.0 or 3.0 edition, it wouldn't make any difference to you because yeah. you've got more than enough between now and then. But you know, yeah, and it's not like you don't have any other games to play. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know. Anyways, so my number six. Deep Madness from Dimension Games. So, number fives. Number five. Uh, so, my number five is the rule that breaks the rule, or is the game that breaks the rule. Okay. Um, this is a game that technically came out <laughs> in 2013, but oh, wow. literally just came out this year for the first time in English. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a boring white guy. It's a re it's a re <laughs> it's a reverse deck builder or an yeah. inverted deck builder or. A multi-stack deck builder, yep. Cash Guard, Merchants of the Silk Road, yep. um, oh, Gerhard Hex, I, I Cosmos. I right. Um, okay, yeah. This one just came out of Gen Con this year in English for the first time. Um, it is like just like I said, everybody's playing. You have like a, 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 a board that tracks your various spices and gold and stuff, and then every and then everybody has three decks that they're building up. So it's technically a three deck builder, or a triple deck builder, quads, but you can lucky. see every, well, if only if only one person gets that. Yep. But but you can see and everybody can see every card in your deck all the time. You know exactly where to go to get it. But it's then manipulating those various uh, things. You only get to, to play get you. one card out of one. Yeah, deck out of one deck, and it has round. to be the front one. Yeah. So the front one, and then, so you have to play those to get to the next ones, and you're fulfilling contracts, and you're the game is super clever. The game is tons of great decisions, fairly quick. You can play through the whole, like I, I, every time I played the game, I don't think we've ever gone over an hour, and that's whether it's three, you know, three, four, or whatever players doesn't matter. Um, I played it at two, three, and four. I liked it at all player counts. Um, it, it it's definitely a little bit better at three or four, but yeah. you know because it's not quite so head to head. But I mean, it's just it's fun. It looks boring. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I, I don't think the artwork looks awful, just not exciting. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they're they're nice pictures. It's they're just, just pictures of, like, this lady's holding some silk. Yeah, 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 <laughs> She's yeah. She's not, yeah. like, they're killing not, someone with a sword or you something. Know, but, but they're yeah. well drawn. But it is, yeah, and, and, you know, and, you know like just, that. And, and I like the... I, think of your boring Euro art. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. It definitely looks like, you know, some... 
you know, it, it looks like uh, uh, you know Stefan Sfeld's cousin, you know, yeah. you know, puked on the board or whatever. But, <laughs> but I mean, but but really good game, yeah, yeah. really fun, really real it. reasonable. Z Garcia loves it. Jason yeah. Levine's who I first heard about it, and he loves it. And like everybody who seems to try it is like, like I think everybody goes into going, what is this? <laughs> and then literally about three rounds in, they're like, oh, and yeah, just surprised. That was really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I for, I for, totally forgot about that. I, I had a feeling that you guys might, and I yeah. and I wasn't sure if it really fell within it. But I feel like I think it's pretty fair. We're not yeah. guys that really get pace ups. I mean, if, I guess my game was complete. Like if if uh, uh, what's your rolling dice game? Uh, the, the big rolling dice game. Oh, tumbling dice. Tumbling dice. If that was German only, wouldn't really be a big deal because yeah. it's literally language agnostic. Yeah. This is. Card draft, you know, card draft, you know, pulling it everything. It's all life. kinds yeah. of words, you know what I mean? So, you know, I, I felt like it, it, it yeah, fell within it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful sure. game. Cash card. Number five. My number five is. Gestro. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, what's, uh, what's, do you know the publisher? Or the designer? Right. Because you're looking over there. Oh, I forgot about Root. Okay. Oh, darn. Oh, you forgot about Root? That it is villainous. <laughs> oh, that villainous. Nice, nice, yes, nice. I really, You could really have said like it was this. mentioned already. Yeah, that yeah, would have yeah, been that's all good. Was, I, I thought it, it was over here. Guess, yeah. Joe. There's 103,000 games yeah, yeah. on BGD. I know. Just guess. And out of our 700. 5,000 games released. <laughs> and, 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 and better that's yet, one I like. we, we, we had the, in the discussion beforehand, Josh admitted that he didn't actually sort by 2018, so I've been waiting <laughs> to see if something comes up that's nope, not 2018. I double check my list. <laughs> I, mean, I, I double check my list. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm going yeah. yeah. for, too. But villainous. Uh, beautiful <laughs> game. <laughs> Rist, yeah. Legacy. Yeah, Rist. <laughs> um, no, uh, villainous, beautiful game. Uh, I love all the villains. I've played a couple of them. Um, it's fun to watch other people even play because you're like, oh, I see what you're doing here. and it's Risk Rick and Morty. Yeah, 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 yeah. But... Super, super good game. Uh, they partnered with Disney, I would assume, since it's... No, uh, oh, they got the license. Yeah, I mean, they got the license. You know, they, they, I mean, and um, that's that's the thing. But, it's, but all the artwork in the game is just oh, man. super, it's like... It's not just stolen from the movies. It's, yeah. like, no, perfect. It's uh, really nice art. But but actually, I think that pales in comparison to the little figures. The little figures yeah, are, well, like, your pawn things that you move around on your thing. Are super cool, yep, you yep, know. Yeah, yep. and they're not just like copies of the characters. No, right? yeah, they're, they're just like, like inspired by. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the only thing my only complaint are the chits. I think those could have been updated sure. to like and the and plastic the and and the thing that you're supposed to use is the like the swirling portal of the chip power thing is yeah. like kind of a. I mean, it's nice, but it's kind of a little chintzy. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Just oh, a it's, little, super, it's like yeah. a thinnest plastic ever. Well, <laughs> sure, but I mean, but I mean. It, it's literally only supposed to be there yeah, for, you yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah. it's not like it's... step up of Saran Wrap. Right, yeah. right. Well, <laughs> it, no, just, it's... And yet still three steps above the cards from and the Ego game. game. <laughs> yeah. Three steps thicker than that, uh, you know? That's, <laughs> yes. That's called a throwback. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, oh. it, it, it is a fun game. I love it. Love playing it every time we've played it. And every time we've played it, somebody else is a different character is one. Nobody's, like, overpowered. And it always comes down to, like... Oh, I could win this round. Or, oh, he can I win saw this people round. Complain or, oh, online that every time they play the Queen of Hearts wins, and I said I've never played a game no. where the Queen of Hearts has won yet. No. So, yeah, it's, it's interesting. interesting. I'm sure that again, I I, I think it's like anything else. It kind of depends on whether or not somebody like. I I think the hardest part is is realizing that the person is getting close. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it might be harder to tell with the Queen of Hearts because yeah. it doesn't look like anybody else is in. Like, right. obviously that she's got the real chance. She's it's, the only one that you don't know if you're going to win or not because. You have to make the shot, and then you flip up and see if your yeah. power beats whatever power <coughs> right. that you flip up. So yeah. right, right, right. And you yeah. may have to reset and then try again yeah. or whatever. You know, yeah, like and so. you have to burn through your deck to get to that card. So if you get that card early, then yeah, yeah, then you're yeah. holding it and you're waiting and you're whatever. Yeah, that happened to me when the second time I played it, and it wasn't her. I can't remember who it was. Uh, I think it was J- Jafar. Yep, yeah, yeah. And the, the and I got one of the things that I needed really, really early. And but, then I was kind of like, scarab, so you can open yeah, up the yeah, and I'm like, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, come on, anytime now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, come yeah. on, you know. But it's a really good game. I yeah, really, really like that's it. That's good. One. So that's my number five. Awesome. My number five is another game I kickstarted. Yeah, <laughs> that you kickstarted. <laughs> that I kickstarted. Okay. Uh, All right. Who's the publisher? It was also a big release at Gen Con this year. 
Okay. It's so hot right Who's now. Who's the publisher? Uh, Leader Games, I believe, is what they're called. Oh, um... Oh, I should know this one. Oh, it's Root. Is it, it is Root. Yeah, yeah. it's Root. <laughs> it's yeah. Root. Yeah. Uh, root. It is a very fun, asymmetrical game. Yeah. Very interesting. Every every race or whatever group yeah. in the game is completely different. Yeah. Like, not even close to playing the same type of game. Yeah. But, um, I think when we played it, Steve was the Vagabond. Yeah. He was yeah, just so. like... I love the Vagabond. He was just like tr- was trolling super. around the forest doing whatever he wanted. I felt like I, he was playing it and like... like I'm over here worried about my birds rising to power and making yeah. sure like you, I don't... You, like, you, really, yeah, yeah, you, just, you kept like doing really good and then it would be like this big downfall. Like you're like... You were like... Yeah, and Joe's just rolling out. It looked really good, you know? And then all of a sudden it was like... As the birds are kind of supposed to do... Well, none, of us, none of us really went and blocked you to screw up your... No, but then, it, but it still ended up. I mean, I oh, won, yeah. so you know, it wasn't yeah. like the thing. And that's that. You know, like I felt good about. It. I liked the game, and it probably would have made it. There's a good chance it would have made my top ten if I had played it more than once. Yeah. But on one playthrough, it was hard to tell because my yes. concern was that I might not like. I didn't think any of them. I liked what you were doing. I liked. I like well, flying towards the head. I, I, you're, the, you're the green guys. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. Or the. Like the Matt rebellion. was the cats, yeah, and yeah. you were the yeah, you're the uh, you were the forest creatures yeah, like, yeah. as a whole. I think I, I liked several of them, but I think I either yours or Matt's. I can't remember one of the two. I didn't think looked all that exciting. I, mean, I liked yours. I it thought was yours Matt. Was, Matt yeah. was like the most basic. Yeah, the except cats. for except for I feel like Matt didn't do his the way it really yeah. like like a big thing about theirs is you're supposed to be just getting out there and like build and build and build because you have so much crap at the start. Yeah, you're trying to build up fast, and if you don't, you're kind of losing. And actually. I think it also would have probably made the thing if we would have tried the expansion. We didn't try any of that the expansion stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd, I'd like to try it. Uh, yeah, you know, I know. You know. I really want to try the lizard or the yeah the river folk. I think not the lizard. It's a river. <laughs> the well, the folk. lizard folk are one of them. Yeah, uh, it's another vagabond, the lizard folk, and then another group that's in the yeah ones like the cultists. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Those are the lizard folk. Yeah, and then the and then there's the one the. Is it what the beavers or something in the water? It's yeah, some yeah, water, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it might not be beavers. That doesn't seem yeah, right. I don't think it's beavers. No, I don't know what it is? You know, but yeah, otters. Yeah. yeah, it could actually what be cats? otters. Water squirrels. Yeah, yeah, water squirrels. <laughs> oh, that's what Squirtle is, isn't it? Platypie. <laughs> yeah, and Squirtle is a water squirrel. <laughs> yes. That's exactly what he wow, is. we've gone off the rails. My number five <laughs> is root. Pokemon. Root. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> <Is root. laughs> Uh, oh my word! <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Number four. Number four. Um, four. So four. These are finally actually the good games. Before this, everything was garbage. Um, okay, yeah, I don't well, think we. Yeah. I don't think we should ever play any of those games again and just concentrate on four or higher. Okay. Um, and then when it gets to three, three or higher. Never. Mind. Anyways. Um, so this game was one that I looked forward to. That I almost backed, except at least three people that I know. <laughs> Backed it, so yeah. they all got it, and I was like, I didn't see the point in me needing to get it. And interestingly enough, of the three people, um, the one I least thought I would get to play it with first, I got to play it with first. Uh, I, 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 one of our prime uh, 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 watchers, viewers. Oh, um, I thought you were going to uh, so, uh, <laughs> I know what game this is. So, yeah, so yeah. this is a, a, a rootin' tootin' game, uh, Western Legends. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hervé Lemaitre and it's Colossal Games yep. um, the ones with the big gorilla um, they are um, it, it's a big open world uh, you know very Zaya like in, yeah, in, well. in a sense you know except for it's western um, great characters almost everybody like pretty much everybody that you play in the game is somebody out of you know like either real history or legendary you know western history and stuff like that Everybody's got uh, their own powers. Everybody has their own stuff. It's it's real. Like I mean, you can literally be good or bad or whatever else. Production quality is really good on it. Um, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I was a little bit soured by it. Ended a little bit oddly, like it, as in with the group that we played with. There was four of us, and the one guy ended up winning. And it wasn't that it was bad. Like it wasn't that I was mad about the fact that he won. It was that like. He got into a small thing that ended up giving him two really like he had just a couple things happen that ended up getting him a big chunk of points that got him to the win pretty well. I mean, he really was ahead of us. And 
the problem is since I've only played it once, I don't know if that's just a symptom of that playthrough. Yeah. Or if it was it something. Time, yeah, like, like yeah. if that was, you know. But again, I didn't think it was really that bad. And it is one, though, that there is some dice rolling. So similar to like when we play Car Carson City or sometimes when we play Kingdom Death. If you get in bad, you know, if you if your dice rolls are just not good, you just are not going to do well in the game. Like yeah. it's not constant, but there are some. There's just enough, and that so that could be tough. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But it was really fun. Jerry still has not received his copy. Whoa! And they stopped responding to his emails at recently, like the last two or three emails, oh, which wow. is a little shocking. But it may be just because they don't have any update on when he's getting his. Yeah. But that was that kind of sucks. Um, but played Paul's and Paul's was really nicely done. He did, had a pretty nice little paint job yeah, on the on a bunch of the stuff. And, three and yeah, yeah. Player markers. And stuff. Yeah, it was it was all. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it was fun. It was good. You know, like the the way it was set up. We'll probably you guys will probably never see Matt's copy, so that's fine. <laughs> you know. um, but we'll get Paul to play. Yeah, I really so. want to play it because I really really like Zion. Yeah, yeah, I like Western yeah. games too. Yeah, I like Western games too, and that was that was. Uh, yeah. It was fun. It was it it was really fun. Um, again, I didn't. I having only played it once. That's why it ended up where it could it could have definitely pushed up higher, yeah. or it may have even dropped a little bit depending on yeah yeah you know mm -hmm. how things go. But it was it was a lot of fun. There was all kinds of stuff to do. Number four, Western Legends. Okay, my number four. I picked up at Gen Con. <gasps> no. Oh no. Um, like, has it been said like, yet? No. It's Two not games. Been said. Okay. Doubt it's brief because you didn't enjoy it that much. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going with Expanse City. No. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. It is Coimbra. Oh, uh, yeah. No, the yes. game I haven't tried yet. Yes. Picked up Coimbra. Played it. Liked it a lot. Yeah. Uh, One I'd really uh, like to try, but yeah. yeah. Really, really Pretty fun nothing game. good stuff about it. Yeah. 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 Really, really liked it. It's a euro hmm. I've gotten to the point where I think I like, as much as I like a big, you know, theme game, whatever, blah, 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 blah. I, I like Euro so much. Yeah, <laughs> I love the mechanics. You know what I mean? I'm always like, oh. I remember what this one was like. Remember, there's like a uh, there's cards off to the side, and you can. You... I totally forget now. <laughs> um, man, forget it. Never mind. Oh, it's another. Yes. By, it's another. I uh, uh, either Plan B or Edgar Spill. It's yes, yes, it's it, it, it yeah, Plan yeah, B. Yeah, okay, okay. Because yeah. I picked it up when I picked up Wreath, and I picked up like the. Well, you got to remember that those guys are like. They're actually like a couple companies, so depending on which part of it, yeah, yeah. Um, one is Plan B and one is like Eggert Spiel or something yeah, else. Yeah, I think like, it might like be there's an a couple I think that it are might all, be an yeah. actual Eggert Spiel yeah, yeah. game. Yeah. Oh, but um, um, remember, there's a city where you can move on the city, and there's uh, you get you flip tiles and different things happen. Like you get bonus points for um, so many things, and then there's there's like three or four different things that are going on in the game. Mm -hmm. Like one is you're bidding on the characters, which oh, give you different okay. like uh, that move you up on like. The priest track, or the yep. money track, yep. or the Let's battle see. track, or whatever, um, and then you can move around the city, or you can add things to your That's tableau right. to yeah. to make you uh, better and whatnot on certain things. Um, really, really, because there's dice rolling, and then you take your dice and you allot them to where you're going to play. So once again, another dice placement, placement game. Um, really, really liked it. It's been a big hit um, for a lot of people. Um, I've only got it to the table once, but it made a really big impression on me, and I would love to get it played more often. And that is my number four. Coimbra. 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 My number four is another Kickstarter game <laughs> that I didn't back. What? What? Well, Steve didn't back it. Whoa. Josh didn't back it. No one here owns it. I played it at one of our game days mm -hmm. that we had. Um, I had to stare at it at Gen Con the entire weekend because it was at the table next to where oh, I was demoing. Okay. Yep, yep, and I was yep. like, wow, that game looks really cool. I wish I would have backed it. And what was it? It is. Who goes there? Yeah. Um, we played, Patrick has it. Yep, we yep, played his uh, copy at the last of, game day we had. Based uh, off of the thing. The thing well, the, the book that the thing was written yeah. off of. Oh, I've right. actually played that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's that was good. Yeah, a lot of good. fun. Where you had um, to go out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I was, played it with uh, Patrick and and Nick and uh, yep, BJ yep. last time I was over there. We did. Do, that was one of the games we played for Halloween. Yeah, because we played scary, yeah. scary games for Halloween. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I really enjoyed it. I was it, oh, man. infected like most of the game, but we got to like the last round, and everyone still thought that I wasn't infected yeah, because the only yeah. person that I talked to. Okay, was Josh. so so but, look, to be at being completely honest. 
how much do you think that your ability to do that in that game, that particular game, enhanced how much you liked it? Like, in other words, if you'd gotten called out earlier, do you think it would have at least detracted somewhat? I don't think so, because being infected really, like, it, it didn't change the game much for me. At huh. least, and then, like, we all knew Travis was infected. Oh, we right? all knew Travis was But, so like, Patrick infected, played but... the entire game without trading or doing anything with anyone. So he never had to show... His, his card Correct. to any other yeah. person. He did sleep with me. Ch- Pat- Patrick got like? killed in our game. He got killed with about 45 minutes to go. Uh, Ouch. Like, it didn't look like it was going to be that long, but it ended up being about 40, 45 minutes to it go. It is a long game. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, relatively is, speaking, yeah. But, but it was um, really good. I, I, I took another game I forgot about. Yeah, you know. I really enjoyed the playthrough of it. I really liked that theme. It has some really good components. I think the, the cover, I forgot that I'd even played it, because I would have... I. I don't know that I would have necessarily put it on my list. I mean, it's got great components and it's got really nice stuff, but I don't. I don't know that it would have necessarily made the top ten. But I didn't. I don't have it rated on there because I think I just forgot. Like, I don't think the cover reminded me yeah, of yeah, the I game. Think it's just a black cover that says "Who Goes There" on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I, I forgot. We, you, were, you were talking about it. Literally, it took me like, oh, oh, yeah. yeah you know, like yeah, I. Yeah. Yeah. Had no idea, but I really enjoyed it. I had a lot yeah, of fun with yeah, it. Yeah. I would definitely play it again. We um, ended up be all becoming infected, which means you lose because the infected has to try to leave on the helicopter, so well, you can't have all infected people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a there is a thing about it. Yeah, Did I think that you. Yeah, you infected me. No, uh, Nick infected me. Remember, he played the one where he could give me. Oh, that's swap right. Swap me his card for my cards, yeah. and he only had like yeah. one or two, and. Yeah. It was a 50-50 shot, and I got infected, and I put it into, like, my stack of eight or whatever, and then I tried to pull that on you. And only Patrick was left. Yeah, you tried pulling me, I was already infected. Yeah, and then you were infected, <laughs> and I was like, and then we realized, oh. I've been infected the whole game, but I, wasn't, I didn't infect anyone else. Yeah, but yeah, then, yeah, then yeah, we yeah. realized, and then Patrick ended up dying off, and we're like, well, what do we do if both of us are in, because we found out that you were infected at the very end, and we're like, yep. oh, crap, we what do we do? Well, it's part right. of this now. Yeah. There, and that's part, that's part of the way the game is set up, so yeah. that, that way you can't be yeah. too, uh, uh, you know, whole hog on yeah. it. That's you know what I mean? I, yeah, exactly. That's why I didn't infect anyone. I was mm-hmm. just going to try and get onto yep, the yep. helicopter, but it went wrong. It went I, bad I ended up, quickly. I ended up oh, being infected, yeah. like, later in the game. I wasn't at first, but then I finally did get infected. Yeah. And, the, and BJ, like, literally, like, we're going along. I was infected for a round. And literally, like, the next round, something happened. And he looked at me, he's like, you're infected. And it was like, out of nowhere. He just turned and like looked at me and I was like, no, I'm not. You know, like that. And I played it off okay, but he was sure. He was just sure at that point. Um, like, he was just sh- certain. It was, I it was bad it. the game we played because it was the first time they were learning the rules. And the first card he drew, he was like, well, I need to look at the rule book. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all kind of knew that, yeah. yeah he's like, I need to look at uh, what this does real quick. I was like, oh, you're infected, bro. Yep. Yep, yep, it's yep. a fun game, a lot of fun. Yeah, um, it's a good game. I think it's kind of like BSG. It's kind of like that. Uh, yeah, or or Outpost the the the, the, the Terror Outpost Thirty One or whatever it is. Yeah, the, the thing. Well, yeah, the thing. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I just enjoy those kind of hidden traitor ish yeah, type yeah, games yeah. where you still have to work together to keep yeah, the shadows or or, or, uh, yeah. or uh, Dead of Winter yeah. would be the other yeah, one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, and maybe Gen Seven. I don't know. I haven't heard whether or not there's a trade, like a full on trader in that or know. not. But I heard it's a campaign style game, so I don't know. But really? I, I, I mean, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, it could be. You know, I, I, it was as of a notice I got today. It's actually out at Cool Stuff. You yeah, can order, order, it. not pre-order, but yeah. order it. It's like I didn't realize that was coming that fast. So. Me either. Yeah. But my number four, who goes there from Certifiable Studios? Nice, nice. Okay, threes. Threes for everybody? The threes. one I feel like three. The threes! Yeah. 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 yeah, these are these are finally good. Um, <laughs> I'm sure. Um, probably. Okay, so this, I'll, I can repeat some things that Joe said. This was kickstarted. I didn't kickstart it. I almost kickstarted it. But somebody else that we know kickstarted it. And I was fairly certain it was going to be amazing. Um... It has... And then it wasn't, no. <laughs> I mean, it's number three. So I would say really that it has the best production value of any game that came out this year. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, even though one part of it is, some people might call it a little chintzy, but otherwise, the models that are in it, the actual miniatures in it, are amazing. <laughs> are super amazing. Yeah. 
Uh, this is by uh, nope. designed by Matt Ira. Oh my God! It's and Cryptozoic oh Entertainment and Weather Workshop. It. GKR heavy yeah. hitters. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah! I wanted to kickstart this. So it bad is. It is really fun. It's really like, like, oh yeah, I'm rolling dice and chucking, and you're having a good time like that. But because of the way you're kind of like deck building and stuff, you choose. You choose your main mech, but then you also choose like yeah. the sub mechs, and you get choices of several different types. So it's not like you're, it's not like if you're this orange guy, you're always these couple things. You can have several different things, and they can have slight differences in power. And you're drawing from a deck as to what things you have to, to set off and do stuff with. And then you're trying to do like uh, advertising, and right? Whatever. Because it's a sport of the future yeah. where you're think like Running Man meets. Like the old movie, the Schwarzenegger movie, Running Man, yeah. meets uh, Terror at Meeple City, or, you know, like that, because you're literally, you're trying to destroy the block. You get points for actually, like the game ends by destroying the different buildings on the block mm -hmm. and stuff, and, and doing that type of thing, and like, if you if you hit them, like, you hit them, you hit them, if you do like the the last hit, or the, the if you hit enough sides, then the thing comes down, you get to put like a marker on it, and everything yeah. else, and like the only part that's kind of a little bit chintzy is the fact that the the buildings are cardboard that are like per, like perforated so that they turn into like a hex shape, you know, and everything. But they're still really cool, and they're huge. They're yeah, like right. this tall, the tall ones, and everything, like almost. A, and the big robots are like that tall. That's are great. literally they're gigantic, all painted. Then you get the yeah, you got the painted ones, one, yeah. so they're all painted already. They look really good. They're good paint jobs, like really solid, yeah, you yeah. know. And I think there was an add-on during the Kickstarter to get plastic uh, buildings, buildings, probably. As well. Yeah, that, I like, mean that like were full. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, part yeah, of yeah, yeah. Bubble. Well, these are these, they, and this is the thing you had to like take them apart and do all this other stuff and everything. But it was it was really fun. It was really interesting because again, you you know, like there was a lot of like whereas it could have been a very like just. Let me, let me put it this way. It could easily have been like Arcadia Quest, where you're, each guy had one single thing that you did, and whatever you picked, that was what they did, right? But instead, it's like, I picked this guy, and he's got these seven different cards, and I can take combinations of them. Uh, you know, a couple are the same. And then I take this these three sub-guys, and this one's got these set of cards, this one's got these set, and this one's got... And you're doing all of that. All of that stuff has a little bit of difference. All of it plays a little bit differently. You know, where you're at in the board, there's it's really good. It's really this is definitely one that I was just like, this I didn't pick it up. I, I was so is I, I but it was, it was so and expensive though Con, at the right yeah, time. Yeah, it you know was what so I mean? expensive. And then I saw it at Gen Con and I was like, I really want this, but yeah. I can't afford this. At it Gen was Con. it was super fun. It was super like good. Um I I mean, maybe maybe I'm a little tainted by the fact that the production was just so well, you know, so good with it. And I guess if it wasn't pre-painted, like if, it, if none of it was pre-painted, I even, might not have. Even, I might have said, "Well, it's not the best production of the year." Maybe not. What that, even you know? the non-pre-painted are still super amazing. They, well, they look great, and they, then the paint jobs it. are still good. They you know, it, so, so then you could paint. Them oh, yeah, no, no, I know, I, I, I know. In fact, you could order one where you could get them painted, and, and then get an extra set, set, set of non-painted to do it, or vice yeah. versa. But yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed the game. Um, I can't wait to try it again. And and I would suggest the next time that there's a big, you know, game whatever thing, yeah. you guys try and get a game of it in because because if you say something to Patrick, he'll happily play it. Yeah. You know, get it out and do whatever else. It it really really good, really good, really good. I'm sad. Yeah, me too. I'm just picking up a Gen Con next year. No, just it's on Amazon cool. now. You can buy yeah, it. Yeah. I saw that and I was like, son of a biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> son of a biscuit. I knew it wasn't Rising Sun because he backed it. No, yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Okay, on yeah. to my number three. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Yep. My number three is been on the list already. Whoa. Mm. Whose list? Your list. My list? Yeah. Well, it can't be villainous because you already did that. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Is it villainous too? It is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you think, Joe? Um, okay, let me ask you this. Did I play the game with you? You did. Okay, then I know it. I'm almost yeah. sure I know what it is. Is it behind Joe? It is. <laughs> oh, I, I, that's what I thought it was, but then I was like, no, he said he forgot it. So. <laughs> I did. I played it off. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Sucker. Sucker. Oh, He's yeah. lying for no reason. Root. <laughs> or root. 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 Yeah. Uh, root was my number three. I really, really enjoyed this. 
uh, even though I got my butt handed to me because I played my character wrong pretty much three quarters of the game. But then once I picked it up, I was like, ooh. Should I have been doing that. <laughs> I really like this. Yeah. Um, didn't really understand Steve's character, and I really wish we could have beat him up more or stopped him more. That was the problem we didn't yeah, beat him up. We didn't yep. beat him up. Um, but really, really good. I like that it's asymmetric, kind of like the OMS, where you're all playing kind of your own game within a game. Yeah. Um, I would love to play the expansion. Look forward to playing the expansion. Um, but good game, good quality game, uh, really neat, really fun. Uh, yeah, and it's gotten a lot of buzz too. Yep, really, so really hot good. right now. So hot. <laughs> <laughs> but Root is my number. Okay. So. Well, my number three is a game that was picked up at Gen Con Ooh. by not me, but by Josh. By Josh. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, it has not been on anyone's list yet either. Yeah, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, so, um, it's probably one I haven't played because I don't think I've, I think I've only played one or two of your games. No, I don't think you've played it either. It is pretty entry level. Mm -hmm. You are trying to build a city. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. It's called Expanse City. Shocking! Yep, yep, you said yep, city. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. <laughs> um, I really like this game. Yep, it's simple, but there's a lot of strategy to it. Oh yeah. Um, Number three, yeah, you must like it because yeah. yeah. We played, we played it. it I'd like to. Times, yeah, yeah I'd, lo I'd love to try it. I we to played try it like it. at least three times. I think we played it three times in a row at yeah. Gen Con one yeah, night. Yeah, really, we really just good. kept setting it up, playing it again, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and it's really cool looking too, like yeah. on the table. Really yeah. Yeah. All, towards the end, once you get all the the sky rise or the high rises, and the stuff sky like rises, that. sky rises, the skyscrapers, skyscrapers yeah. and high high rises, whatever, and all your little buildings, and then we got the park. The high rises are my favorite. It's just really cool looking game. So yeah. Yeah, my number three, Expansity. All right, so down to the number twos, number twos, number twos. <laughs> so yeah. this is another expansion. Oh. Um, this is an expansion for... <laughs> <laughs> this is an expansion that I know that uh, Joe and I have both played separately, but that Josh has not played, I'm 99% sure. Okay. Um, this is probably... My number three expansion for the game as a whole, maybe number two, um, and it's by uh, it's by Ulrich Mays and Manuel Rozoy and Space Cowboys. It's oh, okay. Time uh, Stories: Brotherhood of the Coast. Yeah. Um, it was an amazing expansion. It was, I think it. Did stuff that like like almost every one of them. It did stuff that was different, without doing any spoilers. Joe's outcome and our and Joe's group's outcome and my group's outcome were very very different. Joe did stuff that we did not do at all. Joe got to places that we did not get to at all. Um, and yet I think that we had almost as good of an ending as you guys did because of other things. And is this the end? Or is this no, the no, this is no, the, no. There's still more. The, the, there's definitely more of some sort. Um, and I would say after the uh, Antarctic one, and maybe either the original one, or um, I'm trying to think of another one that I liked. Is I mean, the Antarctic one is definitely my favorite. But I, but this is like. Either number two or number three. Wow. I really like this one a lot. My group hated it. Yeah? Yep. Did so, you dislike it? Um, wasn't a big fan of it because of the way it ended. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and you guys had a very different ending than yeah. I and yet, And you guys actually did, I think, the quote-unquote maybe potentially nicer ending, like the more lawful good ending, depending on how you look at it. Um, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say because that game is very... Like, you have not played it. It's, nope, it's just nope. it's very ambiguous on how certain things happen in the yeah. game, and you and there's a lot of questioning whether or not like there's there's essentially the time agency that you're supposed to be working for. They've left you enough things where you're not absolutely 100 percent sure that you're the good guys. Yeah, and 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 I think you guys did, but my group loved it. Yeah. My group really liked it, but yeah, I my would say still the Antarctic one. Though. Yeah, the, yeah, the Antarctic the one was one so good. How many expansions are they in now? Seven one, or two, eight? Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, yeah. Seventh one. Are yeah, you doing in, what, like three a year? Four a year? It's closer to two a year. You know what? I, I like Lumen Fide almost as much. Yeah, I like that one a lot, too. Yeah. Um, really, I, I don't think... The only one that was actually even kind of a, a lower grade for me was the Mar it was the uh, Marcy case. 
And that's only because we got stuck. Oh, like, yeah. we had, we got into a loop where we were trying, we thought we had the answer, or they thought the answer. Like, three of the four of us thought they had the answer. I was willing to go slower, and it caused us to do two restarts that probably shouldn't need to have been done. But other than that, I still love the game. Yeah. Not wait for the next I'm stuff so to come out. For the next expansion. I am. Um, uh, can you play two player? Yeah, you can play. You can play it even single player if you really wanted to. But I think two player would be the minimum you yeah. want to play it at, yeah. just because you're making. But I don't know. It, it could still be fun with one, just because you'd be. I mean, I understand you'd be making all the decisions. You might have too much information. Well, maybe. But the thing about it is, is it's still like. I think it would probably, I, and again, I don't know how it plays, because I don't think you play, if you're playing like two-player, I don't think you still play four people. Right. So yeah. I think that would change some stuff, yeah, I'm too. I'm if you did single-player. Yeah. Because you, know, you have to have at least two pawns on the board, but I think it might Sure, be, sure. I just but, think that the, the discovery things in it, I mean, you're still going to have the red herrings yeah. that throw you off. You're still yeah. going to have all that stuff. Are. And it's depending on whether or not you make the good. Yeah. Certainly you could do a two-player, though. I'm sure it's got to be still pretty good yeah. Yeah, the true. only thing, the only thing that two player would be tough for Josh would be <coughs> that occasionally there's a puzzle, not in, even in every one, but there are some puzzles that are tricky as shit, and yeah, and yeah. it might be tough for you to do those puzzles with only two people. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's not like you're time limited so much as, but you know, you could get stuck. Otherwise, yeah. a wonderful game. Really liked it. Nice. My number two is joke number three. Oh, oh, really? Fan City. Wow. Nice. No, I'm not surprised, though. You got it, and you yeah, love dice yeah. and stuff I, and everything else. Well, I, I really want to play this. Expand game. City, building on the city, just amazing. Uh, super simple. Uh, love it. Played it a bunch because I loved it so much. And it just has really good uh, table presence. Uh, super easy entry level game, I would say. But you can get in depth into yeah. it for sure. Right. Really, really good game. Great components. Yeah, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> yeah, my number two, fan city. My number two uh, was on both your lists already. From Pandasaurus. And it's oh, Nyctophobia. Nyctophobia, yeah. 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 Oh, you liked it that yeah, much? Yeah, wow, yeah, nice. Yeah. 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 I'm not totally surprised you liked it that much, but I'm just like, that's, that's your life. The theme, the gimmick. It's not really a gimmick, I guess, the way you play it. I, I, it is a gimmick by the technical <coughs> definition of a gimmick. Yeah. But but the, if you and I know you listen to Secret Cabal and you remember they just had that discussion a couple episodes ago about the fact they talked about gimmick and the technical definition of a gimmick is not that it's something to fool somebody or do whatever. It's something that make that is a unique mechanism. Yeah. A unique thing. It is yeah. definitely unique. I haven't seen yeah. it in another game. But. It's very smart. Um, everyone that plays it that I've introduced it to is just like, wow, this is surprisingly more fun than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Like, That's been my hard part is I expected that more people would be into it and no, like certain groups of my friends are just like, nah, it doesn't sound like fun at all. Right. I'm like, uh, no, it really is. It doesn't I mean, sound yeah. like fun, but yeah. it is. And then being the killer is cool, especially because so you, you let, can ham it up some. Let me, let me, let me show you what it was like the, the, my whole, the because I've been the, the one of the victims or whatever about that. This is me the whole time. Oh my god, where are we at? Oh yeah, my god. Yeah. This is not good. This is not good. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Um, um, you know, like, yeah. it was great. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's the I whole time. I played one of the people one time, and I literally was like, all right, yeah, okay, I'm going to get to the car. No, I just ran in a circle. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. how did I do that? Did Why you have us trap you in that circle that one time, too? Like, you guys ended up in the same square area, and then he blocked the exit, and you're like, God dang it, I can't move again. Yeah. Oh, that was no. me. I trapped him. Okay. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a card and let me jump over trees. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got that's this. That's the cool yeah. part, not knowing what the hunter can do. Because that would be yeah. like, yeah, it's like. There's, a card, there's a card that lets the, if you use the special powers, one of the people can jump over the trees. They can yeah. climb a wall and stuff like that. That I was yet to do that in any of the games I played. Yeah. Have the people use special powers. Oh, we did all of our, we did yeah. both of ours, like, right from the get-go. Like it would, oh, you, those really actually add a, a nice layer to it. Not that you can't still beat somebody, because when Magic was the killer, he just he hunted us down too sweet. Let's just yeah. put it that way. Like his and his is all like all of his were like these monotone. I'm near you, I'm three spaces away, and you're like, like whereas Nick was totally like hamming it. Yeah. He was like totally being sick, and it was like it was so scary in a whole different way. I'm like, I'm like, oh no, he's right on us. He's coming for us, you know. And it's like. 
Nick, I think, kind of like didn't pu- didn't push to make an end quickly. Patrick didn't necessarily. Patrick was more like you know, like the. Uh, like, he, he, murdered, he, he was like a level murdered. two butcher, you know what I mean? Yeah. He was there to just take you down. There was That's no doubt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was crazy. It was fun. Yeah, and it's always, it, it makes stories usually afterwards. Oh, yeah. Everyone's like, what is I do? Yeah. Why am I here? Yeah. I thought it was on that side. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's always great, like, seeing what people the after. Felt. Yeah, yeah, afterwards, yeah, yeah like, yeah, seeing yeah. what happens. You're here. What? Why am I there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my number two, Nick the Phobia from Panda Stars Games. Nice. Okay, numero uno, number one, the top <laughs> dog, the <laughs> best of the best. Um, all everything that Josh isn't in height. Oh, you know, anyways. Wow. Uh, or, or Steve throw every other game yeah. away and only play this one. Well, yeah. I mean, Steve H does have a one in it, 144. That's right, that's <laughs> so right, that's right. You're just 100 years old. <laughs> <laughs> You're not 44. Yeah, <laughs> wow, fair enough. Three fair enough. <laughs> imagine, imagine, ladies, I'm 64. Barely you know? look a day over 90. Thanks. Yes. Uh, anyways, um, so my number one is a game that um, I played a ton. Um, it is an expansion. Um, uh, it's, but I've actually played the expansion. Four times, I think, this year. Wow. Um, at one point, I played it oh, uh, maybe five uh, times. Yeah, uh, maybe, uh, maybe uh, five uh, times. Uh, maybe five times. And this is to one of my, this is to one of my top five games of all time. Can you guess? Terrible. Even if, even just what the game uh, is. Terraforming Mars. No, but I've not gotten to play any of my any of the expansions for that yet. I've got all but the colonies one. I still have got to play it. Oh, I don't have the Top five games of all time. Top five games of all time. You you have definitely played at least once. I think you did too, but only once. I think each. Gosh, I want to say Peace for Other Battlefield expansion for that. There is one coming, but it hasn't come. Yeah, it hasn't okay. come out yet. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, um, is it uh, the food game? No, food food no, game. no, no, no. There's, there's an expansion there's coming. No expansion. Yeah, there's an expansion yes. coming ne- next year, supposedly, or the year after. I don't maybe. know then. Yeah. No idea. Mm-hmm. You're done. It's co-op game. Really? Yeah, in fact, in fact, oddly enough, this was brought up in, earlier in the conversation. Really? Yeah, yeah, as a side conversation. Still nothing? Uh, is that? No. It's, uh, it is by Kara K- uh, Kintel Dunk and Grace Hollingus, which doesn't mean anything to you guys. Uh, it's it uh, is, uh, it is. Okay. Sanctum of Twilight. Okay. So, Mansions is an amazing game. Tick, tick, Mansions is <laughs> super, super good. Um, it's a game that I literally, I, I consider it actually, which may sound odd, but I consider it something I can play with almost anybody. Anybody who's willing to sit down for the time that the game takes, yeah. I'll play with anybody. Because I can get us into the game in 10 minutes. Pick out a person. All right, you got the person that you want? Okay. I've already picked out the scenario we're going to do. Enter the couple things in. Here's the starting cards. Probably this is the one point where I kind of quarterback a little bit. Probably these are the best cards because they help us out and whatever else. All right, and we start. And literally that's it. I don't tell them anything else about the game at that point. It's just start. And then first turn, you get two actions. You get to do this and that. You get to do whatever. Here's this. Here's that. There could be puzzles. There could be whatever else. What do you feel like doing? And we just let it go from there. Our number one. <laughs> yeah, I think I think me and Joe have the same number one. Um, I'll I'll say what I so I hate co-ops. Okay, but I love this co-op. Oh, maybe it's not the same number one then. Really? Yeah. Uh, Betrayal Legacy. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. I didn't. <laughs> yes. Think it was co-op. Yes. 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 Betrayal Legacy. Yes. Uh, we've been playing it uh, now with our normal group, with like a sec- secondary group. Um, but I really like the people that we're playing with. Um, it has just been great. Sorry, Steve, because you're not. It's part hard of to story. talk about it without getting spoilers. Yes. It is. That was great. I, I, you know what? I don't mind being the butt of that joke. But I really like the people that I'm playing it with. Unlike the rest of the group that I normally play it with. So, like, I, you know, if you'd have turned slower and just given me a shittier look, it'd have been perfect. No, 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 not <laughs> Thanks, you. Josh. It's just, it's not good. This is it's not like I would well. want to play that game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
sorry. Um, <laughs> this is a legacy version of Betrayal Thoughts on the Hill, uh, which is like a horror-themed board game, right? Yeah. <laughs> Where you're just exploring this haunted house, and then something bad ends up happening towards the end of the And then game. somebody has to go read. And then book, you split and up, and then you got one bad guy, and then the rest of the people are trying to stop the bad guy, or die trying. That's a real thing, Lane. The, the and this takes it, and it adds an overarching story. Yeah, an overarching story to the entire thing, and the haunts are just really good. Yeah, so far the ones that we've encountered. Yes. and uh, it's been very unique. I've liked it way more than I ever liked the original game. Yeah, uh, I've enjoyed. I think it. I, only, I played the original only once with you guys, but and this was at your house, so this yeah, was a long yeah. time ago, and I didn't dislike it. But it was, but but I'm pretty sure in the one that we did, like they talk about on like all the every time anybody reviews it, how like parts of it break because it just doesn't seem to work right. You yep, know what yep, I mean? Like yep. you know, like it did do that a little bit. You know, it was a little bit hard for the person who turned to figure out exactly what they were doing, and there yep. came a. I think there was because that was one of the ones where you everybody gets shrunk, and then the guy sends his cats after you. Yep, if you remember, because yep, yep. we, we all played it together. Yep. So and it, so far everything has been. Pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. We got stuck and on it, one part, but we figured it out. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It just helps knowing the rules yeah. completely because a lot of the obscure rules get referenced in the haunts. Yep. Yeah. And I think just knowing that you can take this action normally. Yeah. Just means that this just changes that action slightly. Ma- Ma- Mansions of Madness is a is a good example of that because like you can actually start fire or steal from people. Nobody ever does it. Yeah. The, the, but it is. But it is something that that. Once in a while, you need to be able to do that, particularly the fire the fire starting thing, because if you go mad, you can become a pyromaniac and you win by just starting six, as long as there's six fire spaces, which if that exists right at the beginning, you just win, like as soon as you become, <laughs> right. you know. So, yeah, knowing that you can even do it, they're like, okay. And then I'm, I'm the guy teaching, I'm like, okay, I know you just got your madness thing, and I don't know whether or not you got this, but if you need to start fire... This is how you do it, <laughs> right? <laughs> but if you don't need to start fire, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But I should, everyone should know. Yeah. You know yeah. yeah, we had that come up last game. It's like, oh, we can steal from each other. We forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we usually remember a new rule every week. <laughs> yeah, is it man. Travis and Jay that's playing with you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I couldn't remember. I, I knew Travis was in it, but I, I haven't watched the videos, but I just I couldn't remember what the you know the people yeah. were on the um, video frames. One of my favorite parts of the game is the bleak journal. Yeah, we read. That's what kind of keeps you going through the campaign. Mm-hmm. Has adds a bunch of story. Yeah, um, it helps that we've kind of created. Just beca- the game kind of leads you that way, anyways. But we've created stories for the families or yeah. the people that we're playing Shocking. as well. You guys so, did, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and yeah. It, it's it, it just makes it more interesting. Is it Ball's Mansion? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, mean, I, did, I, I had to. I, you know what I mean? Like, like there's no, a little no, piece no, of me. No, no, no. no. uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> shocker. Yeah. You know, if you when you let Jay name stuff, he goes crazy. No, man. No. <laughs> yes. His first... Never mind. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but... Uh, I'll, I'll a character let... name? Yeah. Well, I don't know if that's spoiling. Oh, you mean you can name characters in a legacy game? Yeah. Freaking no way. Yeah. I'm not... I'm not playing any more <laughs> yeah, of those. Yeah, that yeah, doesn't... I, I don't think I can handle that. But, uh, yeah. Betrayal Legacy, both were number ones. Yes, yes. Um, fantastic game. If you enjoyed the first one, the original at all... Yeah, or you enjoy stories, story games, yeah. um, or legacy games in general. This is probably the best one I've played yet. Yep, so. favorite, favorite, favorite legacy so far. And it's I, funny because I, I probably because I probably won't. Uh, oops, sorry to interrupt you. I didn't mean to, but uh, I probably actually won't play it. You guys were the only people that I probably would play it with, yeah. and I probably would just. Oh, won't I would play, play it again, again because we had somebody from Russia comment in on our game, and he's like, "Oh, Germany. or Ger- was it Germany?" He's mm-hmm. like, "Oh, ours went." He was, yeah, cause yeah he was, no, he I, was I'm watch, just saying that I... You watch know, along like, yeah. with our playthrough yeah. that we're doing, and he said, like, he goes, every haunt that you've gotten, we've gotten the opposite one. Like, because we haven't gotten the same haunt Because at all. depending on what tile... Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The same as the original. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They did yeah, a really cool thing in this one where now the items and the events are mm-hmm. tied to the location as well. So instead of, like, you know, sometimes you get an event and you're in the house or in the basement. Doesn't the, make sense. The, D, the D&D one is supposed to be like that, too. Oh, like Baldur's where they, Gate, yeah. Yeah, the Baldur's Gate one, they... They changed, they made it so that it couldn't happen, like, too, too early in the thing, and then they added another piece so that it was much more likely that it was going to happen in a in a se- setting yeah, that made every, sense. Everything has been tying really well. Like, I was like, yeah. oh, this is just too good. It's a shame that like, they can't fix the main game like they should have with the expansion thing or the I second wish, printing. The components aren't great still. 
No, the boards are we, yeah, are but I mean it's still the other and you know. the the little plastic pieces. Josh ripped, 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 ripped off the it. character the first <laughs> time we played. Way to put it on and just. <laughs> just I was like, oh no! It's like take all our edges so then they can slide out. Yes, better. tape. That's the secret. <laughs> As I said in my review too, taping the edges is the only way to get them to slide. Yeah. That's that's. Yeah, you'd but, think they would figure that out at this point, but the rest a of the thousand game. things they could figure yeah. out with that. I mean, but the like, game is just—it's so good. Sure. It's sure. so good so far. Yep, um, loved it. As a, I, I look forward to playing more of it. I think we're four, or five, or six. I don't know. I think we, yeah, we played four chapters. So. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Or third chapter. I don't, I don't know. Favorite game of the year for sure. Woo! Yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's it for our list. Yes. Yeah. Um, what? Ten games. And what games have you enjoyed from this year? <laughs> yes, yes. What's your number one game? Yeah, two thousand eighteen. Yeah. yeah. What's your, what looked good? What looked bad? Expansions? You know any of that? Or what would you have liked to uh, play that you didn't get a chance to? A yeah. Lot of games. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah. I'm sure they would too. Yeah. yeah. You know? Everyone's time is money, friend. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh yeah. 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 But uh, that's it for us tonight or today. Yeah. Yeah. It's tonight. Today's yeah. tonight. Today. <laughs> that's it for us tonight. Um, <laughs> Or today, whenever you're watching. Don't forget to share. Don't like, forget to future subscribe. people! Yeah. Yes. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you yep. hated it, give us a thumbs down. Yes, if you are a subscriber, ring that bell so you know when we're going live with our live playthroughs or whenever we drop our weekly reviews and whatnot. Yep. yep. Or maybe catch our next top ten video. Yes. Yeah. Top yep. ten games we're excited about next year. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I think sure. that could like be. Good list. Get yeah. us pumped for Gen Con. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or for all the Kickstarters coming in the mail. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Until next time, uh, my name's Joe. I'm Josh. I'm Steve. And you've been watching Down the Vent. Bye. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs>